I'll start with you, Ben. If you could talk a little bit about how you got involved in the story and when you started shooting it and when you knew it was complete. Well, Sarah can answer the last part of that. But um, <laughs> I got involved, I guess, after I read an article in the New York Times several years back that was uh, saying that the MAP program was in danger of folding. Um, they didn't have the funding. Um, and I thought that was um, a bad state of affairs for all of us, that the Juilliard School was having trouble funding an outreach program. Um, and that just really stayed with me. Obviously, they, they got the funding. But um, yeah, I wanted to make a film that said something about music education and the relationships and the importance of it, because it's, it's a real bummer that the kids have to go to programs like that and that we don't have them in the schools regularly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, go ahead. Well, I, I'd love to hear from you guys what it was like to be followed by a camera through all of these, you know, there's some tense moments, you're performing, you're auditioning, what that experience was like and what it's like today to see your story on the screen. Somebody step in. <laughs> um, it was definitely a struggle having, especially for the intense part that I had, um, but after like now watching it over it's just it's like an experience and you're just going over it and you're like wow like now you're able to learn from your mistakes and overcome the obstacles so it was definitely like I'm really glad that I had cameras to follow me to actually go over that part <laughs> and I have to say that we were terrified to <laughs> screen the film for the kids before this um, and I said to Ami that day and I'll say it again that there was an award for all of them, you would get the Bravery Award. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. She, really, she really was just like, no, it's cool. Like, <laughs> you know, and to her mother, too. And I'd love to hear from the rest of you. It was definitely a great experience. I felt like a movie star every time. <laughs> <laughs> you are a movie star. You're officially a movie star. Yeah, Ben was very supportive, and it was... Um, I can't even explain it. It was... But Pete, you never shared the pork. You yeah, never true. shared the pork. I never had the time to. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it all. <laughs> I'd have to say it was a pretty great experience. Um, although it was really nerve-wracking talking in front of a camera for the first time, that was something I had to definitely overcome. But it was, it was really nice seeing those three, few years of my life on screen. Well, I would like to just say that it's an honor to be a part of Ben's film because it helps you um, like be a part of something greater, which is like music education is, is not doing so well now. And it helped me as like a person building self-confidence and, and like being able to overcome challenges that I haven't been able to like um, pass because of music education, and that's a great thing. Well said. Um, I think I really loved seeing uh, my progress as a musician from back over here to now. Um, in my brother's words, um, quote unquote, I used to, uh, you really sucked. <laughs> that's, um, so I went from really sucking to kind of sucking now, so that's good. Um, <laughs> It was overall just a generally really good experience, and um, I'm really happy that I was able to be a part of this. I think he said enough. <laughs> I second that. I, I want to give a shout out to the teachers also. Actually, if all, uh, if West all the Sprott. teachers could stand for a moment, yeah. And. Suzanne Morello is here somewhere. I'm not, if there's another teacher here that I didn't see come in, please stand up. Is that Bill? All right, yeah. Bill Rule is in the house. <laughs> And actually, if the parents are here, I would love you all to stand up because it's so clear in this film that you have extraordinary children, largely in part of because your parenting is so incredible. So where are the parents? Yeah. Thank 
There were more than that, but they're shy. And I'd love to ask the editor, I mean, there's so much footage, there's so many stories. When and how did you know this film was complete? That no. is, <laughs> I'm not sure. When, um, we had, I added up the amount of hours of footage. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, how much? Well, Ben went to Juilliard 33 different Saturdays over the course of making this not film. Alone, not, alone. not alone, but, um, and then we had about 360 hours of footage. Um, partly. Well, that's not necessarily anything to be proud of. No. <laughs> <laughs> the number of hours do not equal great film. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot to sift through. Um, this was the kind of film that you can't just say, oh, we're gonna shoot A, B, C, D, and we'll be done. Um, it required Ben going to all, lots of lessons and figuring out which kids were gonna follow. So, and we followed many kids who were great and some of whom might be out here. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and I would just like to say thank you because I know a few of them are here. Leslie is here and a few others that we, you know, hassled and followed and. Uh, also who have great stories. Yeah, absolutely, and it just, you know, there were a lot of, a lot of different ways we could take it, and it's a house of cards, and it's like, you know, it just had to be this way, so, but we thank them also. And Ben, I believe there's a small surprise. Yes. If you could yeah, I wanna let bring, the audience know. Yeah, I want to bring, uh, what's that? <clears throat> so, um, there have been some technical difficulties, and uh, so me and my teacher are going to play together, but now you guys are just going to hear me, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I mean, but you know. Okay. You know, love you know, that. you know, you know, you got in a professional situation. You got to be ready for anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm ready. All right. Bring it on. <laughs> Well done. Well done. And Ben, since this is the very first audience in the world to publicly watch this film, can you tell everybody a little bit about what comes next for the film, how people can follow the story, how people can stay in touch with what's coming up? Yes, so um, we hope that this, is, and we feel confident this is going to kick off a successful festival tour, so Ooh. the best way to um, find out where we're screening and so you can share with your friends in other cities and states is to follow us on Facebook, um, we're there, and um, yeah, um, 
we'll see how that goes, and then fingers crossed for distribution. Please help me thank all of these incredible musicians, the filmmaker, the editor, for some little spark. Thank you.